Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about dry storage for your filament. So let's just hop in here. I have been neglecting my filament for the last however long <laughs> since I started 3D printing, which is a little while now. Um, I live near the coast, I keep my windows open, my house is probably a little more damp um, than some locations due to the humidity factor. Uh, in this area, and so I'm starting to notice some issues with my PLAs in particular um, in their print quality. Uh, filaments that have been left open for four, five, six months are starting to show different uh, variations in, in the print itself, and I noticed when I popped in a brand new roll of the exact same filament, no problems. Um, and so I I previously thought, well, yeah, this is a thing, but maybe it's not really necessary for me. I'm not really having any issues. Now I'm starting to have some problems, so I've been look, looking for a good solution, um, and I think I've arrived on the solution for, for me, which is going to be these filament storage bags, uh, vacuum bags, basically. I didn't really want to go down the filament uh, dry box route because... I think the, with the frequency that I'll be swapping out filaments, it just doesn't, um, it, the box is going to be open so many more times than it really should be. Um, and so those other filaments in the box are going to be negatively affected by that swap in and out. So the bags are an individual solution for each spool of filament, and I think that's going to work the best for me. So I bought this eSun uh, Vacuum Kit Pro 2. Um, off of Amazon. We'll have links for everything in the uh, description below for you. Um, this is a vacuum, resealable vacuum bag kit um, that comes with a few bags, I think like 10 bags, and then um, a little electric vacuum pump. Um, here's the bags here. Just pull one out so you can see. They've got like a textured pattern on one side and then a smooth, clear surface on the other. The clear side has the vacuum valve, if you will, and then they have a double zipper across the top. Um, for that double zipper, they give you a couple of little uh, zipper helpers, if you will. You run these over the zipper from the side and kind of squeeze as you go across to make sure that you got a good tight seal on the bag. Um, and then they actually come with a little bit of uh, desiccant as well. Um, I actually bought my own desiccant for this. Um, this is indicating type desiccant, so it starts blue. You can hopefully see that in my hand there. Oops starts blue and then as it gets wet it turns pink um, and so you can uh, that way you know that hey this is no longer a perfectly dry environment so I'm not sure if these guys that come with it are indicating type or not but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this because I know it is um, and then to package the desiccant, I bought these little plastic, or they're not plastic, they're like a mesh, uh, like gift bag almost. And so the idea here is this will allow the desiccant to breathe through, but it also keeps these little tiny beads contained. And so I'm just going to make up a little bag of desiccant here, tie it off, and that'll be... Um, what I put in with my filament uh, inside of the vacuum bag here. So that's that's kind of my plan. Um, I think it's going to work out pretty well. I've been drying these two filaments here for the last like eight hours or so, um, kind of rotating them inside of the dryer every so often uh, to try to dry them out. They've been sitting this one's been sitting for, I don't know, probably three months, and this one's been sitting uh, maybe a couple weeks. So this one, this one has <clears throat> seen seen it worse for sure. But 
Either way, we're going to get them both uh, bagged up here, try out this system, and then um, eventually I'll do a like a report back video to see um, how this is if this has helped or not. So um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and pop one of these guys open. And then we'll start with this gray PETG. Let's stick that in there. And then I'm going to stick my desiccant in kind of upside down so that I can see the blue from the clear side of the bag. And then I'm going to try to get some of the air out if I can, just to make the pump's life a little easier. And then zip it with my fingers, and then I'll use this little zipper tool just to make sure I've got a nice seal there. All right, so this is the little pump that it comes with. They have hand pump versions of these, but it was like $5 more to get the pump, the electric pump, so why not? Um, it's a little USB powered guy, so I've got a little block over here. Plug that in. Got a pretty good amount of suction. You can see it's leaving a mark on my palm here. So, not bad. Um, instructions say to just hold it down right on the valve and let it do its thing. That is going kind of slow, or not at all. Make sure you have a tight seal on this thing. Hit, uh, might be applying pressure, but it might just be leaking off the edge, so that's what was just happening to me. I guess it should make this horrible noise, because it seems to be working while it's making this noise. The bag is contracting around. I'm just kind of waiting to see. So I can hear that noise. It kind of sounds like the pump is stalled out, so I'm going to turn it off there, call it good. Yeah, I think that uh, I've got the air. There's a pretty good depression here in the center of the spool on this side, and likewise on the on the clear side. The spool itself has actually been pulled in because this roll is, you know, not full. Um, so yeah, I think that was a success. It definitely pulled the air out. Um, I can. I can see my blue desiccant from this side here, so I think we're going to be in business. I just noticed the label for this filament is on the white, or the like textured side, but I don't think it'll be a problem. I can still read it pretty easily, but in the future I'll remember to put the label side on the clear, clear bag side of things. Um, but yeah, one down seems to be a success. Let's do another. LA plus filament here. Got the label up this time. Put them in the corner. Just make up another little desiccant bag for myself here. air to take out because there's more filament. Okay, I think the pump is stalled out. Pop that off. Yep. Looks pretty 
good to me. Nice little depression here. I've got my filament label, and I can see my blue desiccant in the middle there. So I think I think that's going to work well. Um, these are all one kilogram spools, but I would think you probably could get a three kilogram in there. I don't really run three kilogram spools, but I know some people do. Um, doesn't say, but. I bet you it would be pretty close to fitting, if not fit perfectly. So, um, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. This is going to be my new solution moving forward, and we'll update you in a little while and see how well it's working or not working. Hopefully it works, though. Um, I did do a little research, and these bags... Or the, sorry, the pump, the electric pump, is supposed to be able to work with a multitude of different brands' bags. Um, so, um, as far as like a refill kit for the bags goes, because I've got more than 10 spools of filament open at the moment, um, so I might, I might try some different bags, and maybe that'll be part of that update video as well. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and uh, definitely give this video a like. Um, if you guys have other suggestions or solutions for this, let me know down in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Um, otherwise, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one.